Day has finally come. We're going for a fat bike ride. Woo! My goal today is to take this fat bike 26 miles along the Minnesota River bottoms and check out what fat biking is all about. Only issue, there's not much snow. I first heard of fat biking when I moved to Minnesota and some friends were riding me on a ride in the middle of winter on a frozen lake. Like any sane person, I of course said yes and I went along. And then next thing I know, I'm knee deep in snow trying to push through all this stuff with my regular bike. And I see my friends just casually gliding over everything without a care in the world on these massive beasts. That was my first experience with a fat bike. And today is actually my first time that I get to do a proper ride with one, but not the first time I've ever been on one. Oh, this is gonna be a muddy mess today. Oh, this is nice still. Wow, I thought it'd be horrible. Oh man, already covered in mud. Oh, this is what I was worried about. Oh, just a sick, muddy mess. That's it. I'm covered. No, no, it's gross. My fat bike is doing good over this stuff though. Oh my gosh, my feet are disgusting. That one's gonna have to hose me down. Here we go. Oh, I made it! Woo! So I came here a few years ago with my friend Rob on the mountain bike and I hated it. It was summer and everything was sand. But I heard fat bikes were king of the river bottoms because of the sand and when it snows, because of the snow that you can just ride on. However, the issue now is Minneapolis finally got snow a few days ago and it's all melting now. It's gonna be back up to like 50 degrees in the next couple days and it's just a mud fest here. But I just realized as I went to take a drink, everything is being covered in mud. Look at that, look at that chunk right there. Did you see my legs too? I wanna say it can't get much worse, but it probably definitely can. But can it? This feels, it's just, like, literally you're riding on balloons. As I pedal, I'm bouncing. You try to jump over things. It just feels super bouncy. Ooh. What the, where's the track? Oh, no way. Your mud chunks hitting me. It's gross at first, and then at some point it's just kind of like, whatever. I'm here, I'm wet, I'm dirty anyways. Might as well keep having fun. The little bit of snow I do get to ride on is super fun to ride on. It's weird feeling like you can't actually float just on top of it. Oh! Woo! Oh, this mud is deep. Oh, oh, oh Lord. How you doing, bike? You having fun yet? <laughs> I am. Oh my gosh. Poor bike. Handling it well, though. Anywhere else covered up with mud? No, it's pretty good. I'm actually still having a lot of fun. I'm soaked, but I did bring a change of clothes because I was worried about this happening. So I'm glad I got a change of clothes. It's not super cold outside. All I gotta deal with is some mud and water. Not horrible. This actually isn't my first time riding a fat bike. I got to ride one before on an REI commercial out in Washington. We got sent out there. I rode the Salsa Bear Grease for a fat bike shoot. And it was the most fun I've had on a bike in a long time because it was like a foot of fresh snow. We get into just ride and jump off stuff and fall in fresh fluff. It was amazing. But I didn't get really get to test out the bike. I only got to ride it inside of a parking lot and then, you know, like a hundred meter stretch that we had to ride over and over again. Never have I done an intentional ride like I'm doing now. This is dumb, this is dumb, this is no, nope, 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 I can't do it. Nope. Chickened out. Oh. Jump it! Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. It's pretty though. 
Muddy, slippery, wet, cold. Yes, but, oh, oh, oh. Stop trying to push me into the water. Oh. Balance, balance, balance. Let me tell you though, this is the perfect bike to be doing this in. I would not want to be in this, in a mountain bike and def- Oh! Wow, there is no grip. All right, let's see about walking it through here. Oh, this is loose. At what point do we say enough is enough and turn around a little? Unfortunately, like, you see this? Oh, I've never just touched a clump of mud like that. Right now it's fun. I've just suffered enough on a bike to know that fun like this quickly turns to I hate everything and I hate my life. And then if you just go further, that's further. You got to come back through this. I don't know. Let's keep pushing a little bit more. If I see that it's like a long ways of just this mud, I'll turn around. It's just no sense to possibly damage the bike, ruin a beautiful day, and possibly ruin the trail. This is fun, they said. Go to the river bottoms, they said. Do it on a fat bike, they said. <laughs> Hello. Is it just mud for a long ways? Okay. All right. Thank you. Appreciate that. Here we go. Yeah. All right. I got to pedal really slow. Come on, slow. <laughs> I still went nowhere. Oh, man. I feel content in my heart to officially end it here. Just there's, there's nowhere else to go. The, the, the dirt doesn't bother me. I'm fine, I'm not that cold, I'm pretty warm, but, and I still have the whole however far road to go back, so I still have some fun in front of me. This is not a fair test for the fat bike. I feel like there's more fun to be unlocked, and I haven't been able to unlock it because I'm on, I'm on this. I wanna give it like a proper, let it snow a foot and a half, and go places other bikes would not be able to go because they just sink through and let this just coast on top. But let's get back to the car and then we'll recap the trip. Through the mud, yes! Back at it, baby! Oh. Look left, don't look left. I feel like it's at this point a road biker would say, that's why I ride on the road. <laughs> hey, I like road too. But this is also fun. Yeah, okay, it's not happy. Come on, we just gotta make it back, man. Oh, oh! Recovery! I can't imagine doing this as something like Unbound for 200 miles. I would hate everything and the race organizers for putting us through this. But I have no one to blame except myself. On the way back now, I'm trying to see what it's like to ride this you know, continuously. I'm trying not to stop if I can avoid it. Oh, and here's mud. Oh. Oh, that's the spot I slipped out before. Freedom! It's the best thing I can do.
Oh my gosh, I can feel the water moving around inside of my shoes. Oh my gosh, that was, that was a ride. I don't think I've ever been more covered in mud in my life, but to answer the question, what is it like to ride a fat bike? It feels like it's a squishy, unresponsive mountain bike. Like I wouldn't go and tell someone to get this as their first bike, but if you live somewhere like Minnesota, where it's really cold three to five months out of the year and you can't bike, but you still want to go outside, yo, it's, I think it's worth it. I haven't gotten a proper fat bike ride that was just on snow or just on sand, right? This is a crazy thing, but that was still pretty enjoyable to ride, even though it was a disgusting mess. So I definitely want to take this out on another proper fat bike ride with nice snow or nice sand to see what it's really like to ride on. But that was enjoyable. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hasta la próxima, mi gente, nos vemos. Yeah. Yeah.